soon. Hi guys, I'm Marticor and we are having a normal edited episode of Basket Island because it's the Genesee family. This is the end of the round. So a little reminder of the little ones. We have August and we have June. Um, So June will be a toddler today somewhere. Uh, She was born in the middle of the night, so probably at like very, very late evening. I will have her birthday. Um, Also on the stream, we had a spoiler that Tenny will pass away um, this very day, like tonight. I would have guessed it. I I would be like, okay, maybe he has one day, maybe two, you know, something like that. Uh, But now I know for a fact that it's tonight that he dies after one day. Because I was playing with the story progression mod for a minute there, like in my private time in literally one neighborhood. And somehow I forgot that I should take it out for the stream. Like I thought of Friday more, of my Friday recording more. So I kept it for the stream and just completely forgot that I even had it. And um, if it weren't for you guys, I would have saved the game and destroyed my neighborhood due to story progression. (laughs) So it was actually you guys who saved the game because I didn't see the notification about Tenny dying. You guys did. Yeah, after one day uh, of gameplay in another family, there was a notification that he died, so I know for a fact that he will die tonight. Oh, yeah, right. (laughs) The robot block. And also someone wanted me to explain why I'm planning so many children in this family, because I'm planning to have five, um, which is... uh, I mean, I explained that already, but I can say it again, it's fine. Um, It is out of character for me to have this many kids, especially in a rotational play, because I take care of the population, I don't want to have too many sims, and also not too many sims of the same family, right? So yeah, I don't really make too many kids, max three, I have very strict rules for that and uh, you can actually see that in my gameplay rules video I think I I, I said exactly what, what the rules are here I also play rotationally, but in this family I plan to have a lot of kids. And this is because uh, I will not be playing this neighbor... Oh, thank God. (laughs) This is because I will not be playing this neighborhood for a long time. Uh, It's just like, we are finishing the round right now, and maybe another round after that, and, and we're done with Basket Island. Like, I was just supposed to play for a few rounds, and that's it. Uh, so I can easily make this many children. I don't have to worry about overpopulation or anything in the future because I will probably stop playing here while August is a child, you know, max a teenager. So yeah, that's it. That's the whole philosophy of it. Oh, he can walk already. Cool. Um, Summer, the baby is on the floor. Yeah, go pee, sure. Of course, he fed her with... what? Using the same bottle as the toddler was drinking? Or the bottle that Summer left on the floor from feeding her, so he like, refed her? <laughs> but I have no baby harassment, so does the no baby harassment only work if the kid is actually in the crib? Because this mod makes them not take care of babies at all. Like, you are the one responsible for that as a player. But I guess when they're not in the crib, it doesn't really work that way. Okay, so cuddle her, put her to bed. And uh, who has the clothes? Yeah, (laughs) Ryan made clothes for his grandkids and it's so adorable. Add to wardrobe. These are custom clothes, so it's super cute. And let's see what it even looks like. I I am not exactly sure. Um, Holton? Okay, you can do that. That's fine. Um, it is this, I think. This was supposed to be for the boy. And let's dress him into it. Oh, that's so sweet. This is something that you just can't buy. Like, these are the things you can't buy, you know? (laughs) Summer wants to teach the kid to talk. We can do that once she has something to eat. We can put him to sleep for a little bit so that he has full energy before we get to teaching. Uh, Summer was supposed to get a job after having those two kids, right? And also we will have a third child right after Tenny goes. 
so I think two children could be in this one room because it's not small. I think we can totally fit them. And I am also planning to have a row of girls. Like August will be the only boy. You're eating a sandwich with a fork? Okay. You should eat this like a hamburger. Huh. This is custom food. It's just coated like that, I guess. Someone was planned to be in the political career, right? Wait, let me look into my notes. Yeah, there was a plan for her to be either a slacker or a politician. And I think politician is really good because there's no one else. So look for a job. There's slacker, so we can take that temporarily if there's no politics. Oh, there's politics. Lobbyist. Level three. That's cool. And now teach your kid to talk. Uh, dress him into the beautiful clothes. At least I will have motivation to actually dress them in everyday clothing, not just be in pajamas all the time. Penny got promoted. Okay. You know what, Penny? I need to take care of this uh, Alexander and John situation. So you have stronger chemistry with Alexander, but I've been thinking to maybe pair Alexander up with... Carol, uh, but maybe John is good for Carol too. But yeah, like I, I had this idea that John and Alexander would just fight over Penny and on Penny's side, I think I can make them become friends at least so that the, the relationships are somewhat equal because now she barely knows John uh, and I, I want this to be like a situation, you know? Isn't he at work? Yeah. Ah, just for half an hour. Penny... Stop with the kids. That no baby harassment doesn't work for servos. Uh, now she was taking care of a toddler, so that's okay, but, but she is also obsessed with the baby. Oh, it's Tenny's time. Where is he? Oh, yeah, of course on the stick. Goodbye, Tenneth Genesee. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, just put her on the rug, like in The Sims 4. Penny, you made food again. Aw, oh, man. Stop with the bottle. He's not even that hungry. I need to find you something to do. <laughs> Fix the toilet. Thank you. <laughs> Fix the shower. Thank you. Actually, Holton and Brittany will probably live through this round, so we will only have one baby here because there are seven people in the family right now, so we only can have one baby in this round. Unless I hack it, but I don't want to. Eight people is definitely enough. Penny, what did I say? Fix the shower. Servo is no nanny. Is there a mod like that, please? <laughs> I mean, since you're already holding her, I guess we can have birthday. Oh no. <gasps> I didn't get the orange cake. I broke the rule. <laughs> I just picked whatever. But I always chose the orange candles here because they match the kitchen. Okay, he learned. Right on time. Since we won't have any more babies here, I think we can wait a little bit before we have the third one. Uh, because Summer just got a job. Maybe she should go like twice. Oh god, it's the weekend. Okay, no, she can have the baby over the weekend. It's fine. <laughs> Forget what I just said. Oh, June actually looks like Summer, and she's sleeping on the porch. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, at night the servo is pretty useful. Everyone is sleeping, and she is just, just taking care of the kids when they need it. Oh, she was supposed to get pregnant. Wait. There we go. Okay. Because Naven already quit work. He is a stay-at-home dad officially now. Penny, did you go to the pool... I think she went into the pool. Naven, what what are you doing? How are you blocked? Did you stick your boxers into the dishwasher? Okay, let's get the clothes. I think I will do this more often because it's so sweet. Actually, we could invite Summer's parents. It's Saturday, no one except Penny is going anywhere. They could try and meet their grandkids. Autumn is here. I can see Ryan. Okay, she called Autumn to invite household, so maybe Ryan is at work and just couldn't come. That's too bad because he was the one who made the, the clothes. Oh, 
gladly, but she's at work. She'll call you when she's when she's back. She actually is very, very low on social. She was calling him, she was talking to him when she was supposed to go to work, but I had to stop it. Ask for attention. And then she will try to take you and you'll say no. Am I a psychic again? Of course I am. <laughs> At least they met. Right? Right. Oh god, I just now realized that I will have two toddlers and one baby. Good that August already can talk and walk. Um, and he is a little bit potty trained, so um, it won't be that hard, but... I think it would be nice to have June already be able to walk before the new baby arrives, before tomorrow morning. And also in three days, August, well, actually almost two days, August will become a child, so it, it will be a lot easier by then. Actually, at the very end of this round, he will be a child already. Mommy is tired, has to take a bubble bath. Did Autumn leave? Okay, I now realize that you can say Autumn leaves. As in that she leaves, but also... <laughs> yeah. Autumn leaves falling down like pieces into place And I can picture it after all these days Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I had my eyes closed when I was singing. <laughs> What's happening? What's hap... Oh, here she is. Oh, of course she's hot. That's why the freeze. Okay. Okay, Summer is giving birth in like an hour or something, and June still hasn't learned to walk, but we're on the way, literally. <laughs> so many people in this family are so unhappy right now. I mean, can't blame them. Okay, maybe we'll have four kids, because there are only so many month names that I can think of. Uh, we have August, June, and then it could be Maya and April. Skipping July because technically it could be Julie, but it's not exactly the same, right? Okay, this is a girl, but this is the second. Oh, she has black hair. No, I, I really want the kids to actually resemble the parents. And uh, someone pointed out in my Discord that I already took up a lot of um, chances like places in the sequence. Maybe I will actually go to another family, like the Fratsters, whatever, and roll the genetics generator uh, with the bad box. I might not have enough time in that family to do that, so I can do it here. Fix randomized sim generator. Yes. Okay. And now we will have a completely new sequence because I don't think I went up until like the 23rd kid. We've already had two and the bad box pushed the sequence 21 times more, so yeah, definitely new babies. This will take a while. I could accept brown hair, I guess, because there is a brown hair gene on both sides of the family, from both grandpas, but I'd really like to have a red-headed baby now. The last baby could get recessive genes. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't even have to care about the like genetics of those kids, what's genetic and what's not. So just give me a girl with brown eyes and I will just change the hair to red. Because my dream for now is a redhead with brown eyes. I could change the eyes in SimPE too, but it's just a lot easier to change a hair. Like I could even not make it genetic. I could just, just change it in game and just not care because they're will probably never be another generation here. Okay, I restarted the game and ran the bad box again. Now this will be the 18th baby of the sequence uh, because there were brown-eyed babies before and then I just couldn't get any. So I'm just like repeating the process. And this is actually why I don't want to get rid of the sequence of the firstborn syndrome or just name it whatever you want. Call it what you want, yeah, call it what you want to. Also, some of the brown-eyed uh, kids before could have been boys. So let's just try again. Oh, what? Except that, of course, she lost her head. <laughs> I am losing my head over her. This is the number right before the starting point after I used the bad box for the first time. And this is actually a red-headed girl with brown eyes. I'm really glad I restarted the game. So this will be our Maya. 
Technically, Maya and May is not the same as well, so we could have a Julie, I guess. I will think about it. For now, they will for sure have four kids. So I think the girls will just have a room together. Okay, two more days. Penny, play the piano. Brittany, stop playing the piano so I can occupy Penny with something. The piano interaction is something that she... I'm pretty sure never stops doing unless I tell her to. Or her mood is super low. Oh, uh, what? Oh my god, Holden is dying. Oh man. Yeah, the... I, I said multiple times already that when there are sims, the elders that are exactly the same age, then the age bar is glitched out so you never actually know. So yeah, it, it was actually his time and Brittany still has some days to go. So Brittany was the one who lived the longest? She was, oh uh, yeah, now she's crazy, but uh, she was married into the family. She never uh, fulfilled her lifetime want and she got to live the longest. That is so weird. Yeah, that's how it ends when you live really long. So all your loved ones die before you. Bye, Holton. Oh my God, both of the twins. Where's Maya? Penny? Oh my lord, she needs to be changed. Go back to piano. Are you seriously going for a woohoo right now? This is not the time. Will Ryan make more toddler clothes for Maya as well? If he has enough time, why not? Orange this time. Let's age up Maya. Okay, Penny, you can stop playing the piano and you can fix this. Thank you. Oh, she's actually quite mixed, I think, like a little bit. And Summer is going to work. She wants a baby, but she will have to wait a little bit at least. Like, at least June has to be a child al already before we do that. Uh, yeah, she kind of looks like Summer, but she has Naven's nose. I'm pretty sure that June has Summer's nose as well, although I didn't get a closer look, so I will do that in a minute. Ah. Yay! Okay, last minute potty training. Really, you guys don't don't have time for stuff like that. I'm sorry, you have three little kids. Potty. It was empty. Oh my god. Potty train August. Before he slips away into a moment in time. And he didn't learn. Well, close enough. What is his... Oh. He's, he's a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. he His personality is uh, a little bit similar to Tenny's, right? He will be probably a fortune sim, so, so that makes a lot of sense. She is super nice. Actually, her personality is just like her parents. They both have pretty similar personality. Uh, and she is just like both of them. <laughs> what about Maya, though? Oh, okay. She's a little bit different. But she's not grouchy. Are you growing up? Yes. We can do without the potty train. It's fine. It's the least important thing. <laughs> of course, he wants all the pets in the world. Yeah, June definitely has summer's nose. Okay, the clothes look really weird when you look at them in the mirror. Aw. <laughs> He's already asleep, but yeah, read to him. To his subconsciousness. That counts too. Okay, this will be more manageable now. So that's it for today. Summer and Naven will finally have that hard-earned woohoo. So we'll start the next round in two weeks, actually, because I have another video planned. And it will be on a stream again. I, I am planning to stream a lot more these days. I feel like a lot more happens when I stream because you guys have ideas, I have ideas. It's like, just stuff happens. And we can all interpret things, like Richard is weird, Taylor suddenly had an affair, and I found the perfect reason for that affair. <laughs> John and Alex will be fighting over Penny. Like, I feel like this would never pop up in my head if it wasn't on stream. So thank you for joining the streams and being part of it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, subscribe, and subscribe, like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye!
And all the bad boys would be good boys If they only had a chance to love her And to tell you the truth Sometimes I wish I was her Yeah, between me and you Sometimes I wish I was her